Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about a Royal Q AI bot system. It's an automated crypto trading platform. It supports Binance and Hobi. From a Binance, you can create an API link and establish an API connections from Binance to Royal Q, and then you'll be able to do auto trading. I'll be showing you a step by step process how you can set up a Royal Q and how you can auto trade in. So let's start. Uh, let's go through certain advantages of Royal Q. Okay, so uh, first one is it's a quantitative trading strategies and it's very simple to use. Uh, it has an inbuilt artificial intelligent programs where it's buy the cryptos on a low and sell it on high. So you need not to do anything. You just need to give an initial setting, which I'm going to explain you in the video and it's very secure because uh, it established a very secure API connections which I'm going to explain you uh, furthermore and it has a real-time strategy you will be able to see your earnings immediately after your buy sales and it has all the log data where you can see all your transaction history and details so let's dive in guys and uh, see how it works and how to create a connection between uh, Royal Q to Binance and how to trade in. First, you have to create a Royal Q account. So you have to use this link in order to register your account. Go to email, give in your email address. Once you key in your email address, uh, after that, you can send a verification code. You, there'll be a verification code which will be sent to your email address given on the top key in your verification code then you have to key in your login password come down confirm your password and uh, this is my invitation key code uh, you can use this code uh, for registering to royal q and register it once you register it will give you a link to download the app for your mobile phone so rest of the process i'm going to show you in a mobile so once your registration is done you can log in with the same email account and the password and uh, with the verification code so let's dive into our mobile phone and show you how to create a api gateway over there So we are back in our mobile screen and once your registration is completed, it will route the page to a Royal Q app download page. And you can see that uh, there is an app store uh, app also and then Google Play Store uh, Royal Q application button is also there. So based on your uh, mobile phone or based on your platform you are using it, you can download the app. If you are using iPhone, you can go ahead and click on an app store and if you are using uh, Android phone then you can click on a Google Play and then once you click on a Google Play it will route it to the Google Play you click on install I'll prompt you for the permissions allow it and then you can just click on install and you can see the review it's quite good here 4.6 and then the, the number of download also is quite high here so just click on install and it will start installing the application and you can see that now the application is installed already. Now you can just open it. And you have to give unnecessary permissions for your app. And now here is the screen where you have to log in. So log in, what you have to do is you can use the same email address which we have used to register the account. And you can use the password. Click on a login. It will uh, allow you to log into the. And now we can see that we have logged into Royal Q. So now your registration is completed. You have uh, successfully logged into this app. And before it goes to, before you go to API binding, now the first thing is you have to activate this applications. Activation is something that uh, you have to pay a yearly subscriptions. But don't worry, it's not so high, and you'll be able to recover that money in just a week time. So you can see that there is an activation button, and then there is an asset where I. I have a, a zero zero USDT. So the first thing what we had to do is we had to transfer a hundred plus dollar here. Uh, why hundred plus dollar is hundred uh, for your activation and uh, plus means twenty thirty dollar you can transfer extra because 
any transaction you are going to do it is going to take a fuel charge the fuel charge is very minimal similar to balance transaction fee similar to that uh, royal key is also charging it which is very very minimal now you can see that uh, there is a chain name which is trc20 and now you have a url means address of your usdt so you can copy this usdt address and you will be able to transfer money using this address from any of your exchange so uh, now you have to ensure that you should use trc20 network while transferring the money here in the royal queue and and you can use multiple wallet and multiple exchange to transfer the money here so uh, as i mentioned that you have to transfer more than $100 uh, because $100 will go for your activation and there should be some balance uh, for your transaction fee when it's uh, when the royal queue start trading and that will be the royal queue trading fees so now uh, as you can see that i have already transferred 100 plus amount from my binance to royal queue and the recharge has arrived so now it's a time to activate the app now uh, we'll go to mine and then uh, we'll click on activation uh, we'll just click on activate and you can see that a uh, fund started reflecting after i transfer money from my binance account so now just click on activate and it will ask you for some confirmations just click on a confirm and then it's prompting for information just uh, that you are going to pay hundred dollars hundred dollars is going to deduct it and now your system is activated already we can just go to binance penny screen and click on more go to api management and then here you have to create a api link for your royal queue so you can give any name if you want so here we are giving a name called robo and just click on create after this it will ask your uh, ver security verifications in binance you have to click to get a verification code get your verification code from your message and email then you have to key in your binance platform this is uh, important and necessary for your security purposes so this is the code i am keying here phone verification and now this is the time to key in your email verifications uh, you can get the email verification code in your email uh, in my case it's for triple seven five one so i'm just uh, typing in here four seven 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 five one and then just submit so once you submit this you will be able to see the api list where uh, the two important thing which is api key and api secret you can see down there so copy the api uh, key from your binance to your royal queue then get your secret key and uh, then you paste your secret key in your royal queue app okay and then uh, click on uh, send verification and and don't forget to copy the ip address so this is very important uh, copy the ip addresses so why we are copying this ip address is uh, instead of having an anonymous connection uh, from your binance to any other api we will restrict this connectivity or connections on a specific ip so you just need to copy the ips uh, from the royal queue and then paste over here down option you have to select it which is restricted access to the trusted ip only you select that and then paste it yeah you can paste it and in the permission you have to just give enable spot and margin trading as you can see in my screen i have already ticked and click on save I'll ask you for a verification code uh, get the verification code type your verification code I just received the verification code is 078170 and then you can type in your 078170 and submit so done this side uh, means Binance side your uh, configuration is done now go to Royal Q app and uh, go to your binance api binding and you can see that once i click on a binding it's successfully binded
so it's the binding is done now so um, now you have to trade uh, since the binding is done you will be able to trade it so for the trading the first important thing is in your Binance wallet there should be uh, some USDT so if I'm going to my wallet I do not have any USDT so I need some USDT to have a daily trading or uh, intraday training I only have a uh, Cardano which is I have invested around 14k and I'm going to take some amount from Cardano and convert into USDT so for this I'll go to a Binance home page and go on a convert options I'll select Cardano which is ADA and then convert into USDT so I'm going to take 200 ADA and convert into USDT which will be around 421.39 USDT convert the conversion is successful yeah so you can see in my wallet it's 421 USDT is avail available now using that USDT we should start our trade so uh, in my case I'm going to start the trading from cake so uh, to do the trade setting first you have to click on a trade setting go to the first buy in amount so based on your USDT availability availability in your Binance account you can select I'm going to start with $50 yeah so then you have to go and change in a margin call limit margin call limit is something that if your uh, crypto price is going down how many times is going to buy it so I'll change here uh, from 7 to 3 so if I set to margin call limit as a 3 so I should have uh, around uh, 150 USDT in my Binance account because if a uh, first time if it's going down and if it's second time going down it's going to purchase another $50 and third if it's going down again it's going to buy a $50 so it's total 150 so now so it's going to buy three times and after that if it goes down it's not going to take any actions it's just going to wait over there uh, till the market is up so now it's time to save your setting confirm and then go to start click on a start the moment you click on start it'll ask you for a confirmation your uh, uh, trade uh, for cake is active already and to verify this you can see you can go to a Binance account and you see you have already purchased around $50 cake here and that amount been deducted from your USDT so once it goes on a 1.3 percent up it auto it's going to sell it off and that amount you will be added to your USDT account so let me give you one more example for Ethereum uh, we will con configure a trading setting here for Ethereum so I will search ETH okay we have listed out Ethereum go to trade setting uh, again we are going to uh, invest with 50 we are going to trade it with 50 and margin call limit again I will change it to uh, three times means if, if the Ethereum is going time, down is going to buy three times if if seven times means you should have a sufficient fund in your USDT so that it can match the seven purchase also so uh, Ethereum trade also we have started now uh, then when you go to cycle cycle means it, uh, it's a buy and sell cycle so it's always uh, going to buy the crypto sell it off and again it's going to buy it so <laughs> When you buy certain cryptos you can see in your logbook all the details is there and for your revenue details you can click on a revenue details you'll be able to see for that particular day or your cumulative profit all information will come here so it will show you two type of your profit today's profit as well as a cumulative profit cumulative profit is something that is so far how much you have on it and the that trading thumb rule is you have to find out a cryptos or tokens which is more volatile if it has more fluctuation in a rate up and down you can you can get a maximum benefit from this AI bot because it will be able 
this AI bot will be busy buying and selling all your cryptos and will keep on giving you a profits. So this is how we do automated trading. You can see in the logbooks, uh, as of now we have purchased two coins and it's uh, the jobs are active. The moment it will hit certain profit uh, limit, it will sell it automatically and that the price or the amount will be transferred amount will be added to your USDT uh, in your Binance wallet. Okay, so let's let's try one more thing. Uh, we go with one inch and try to con try to configure for a trade. Mm. So we'll go to one inch. Okay, let's go for one inch. Where is one inch? Let me search it up. Okay, it's over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure the trade setting for one inch. Again, I'm going for a fifty dollar here, and I change the margin call limit to three, and then that's all confirm save it. And now you can see that there are total three coin uh, AI trade is running. Just wait for a while, and then the moment. Uh, if this crypto's percentage will hit certain profit, it will automatically sell and you will be able to see your revenues in your USDT, which is in your Binance uh, account. So like this, you can see that there is a third buy uh, details has been added here. So you have a total three crypto been added. So it's pretty straightforward, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. And if you have any further questions, do let us know.